Hi guys, this is Omer from MMOHut.com and I'm doing another quick weekly recap of MMO news and announcements for the week ending December 5th. And as you can see from the video playing in the background, the first piece of news that we're going to take a look at is that Forsaken World announces Closed Beta Phase 3. Now Perfect World Entertainment came out and said Phase 3 of Closed Beta Testing will begin on January 12th at the latest quotes. Now, Phase 3 will add numerous new updates to the game, including a higher level cap of 50. Phase 3 will also be open to many more users, so if you're still waiting to play Forsaken World, Phase 3 is expected to double the user base in the game. And Perfect World Entertainment also came out and said that Phase 4 will begin in late February or early March, and anyone who redeemed a beta key will be able to play Phase 4. Open beta will follow after Phase 4. And uh, starting Phase 4, pretty much anyone who wants to play will be able to play, but there will be a wipe at the start of Phase 4. No concrete open beta date has yet to be released though. The next bit of news which came up on November 29th is that the Lord of the Rings Online launches its November update which is actually its first major content update since going free to play. Now this content update actually added a ton of new stuff to the game including new quests, a lot of new content, and basically the highlights are a higher level cap of 65 and free to play users can now access the epic storylines of Moria, Lothalorian, and Mirkwood. I know I said that wrong, Lothalorian. And you also have access to improved skills and traits, created elf, elf and dwarf starting town, as well as many other little features. You definitely want to check out the game's changelog if you are playing Lord of the Rings Online. Up next guys, on November 29th, Florenzia announced its new December update. Now the, this video in the background has nothing to do with the December update, but I decided to use it anyways because it shows you some cool guild vs guild battles in the game. Now the new Florentia December update will be adding a bunch of little things to the game, introducing, well actually not introducing, but upgrading its pet system to include combat pets, and there are three kinds of combat pets, including warrior, archer, and wizard. Players can also access 250 new ship parts, as well as 10 new ships entirely. Next up, on November 30th, a new patch for S4 League was announced, S4 League Patch 24 actually. Now Patch 24 simply added a few things to the game, it's actually barely a patch, they basically added like 2-3 new costumes to the game, including a brand new map called Office. And there's actually one map and a few costumes. To celebrate the launch of the new patch though, there will be 5 in-game events that will be ending on December 8th. Next up guys, as of December 1st, Fly for Fun V16 has officially been launched. Now V16, the Rise of the Miron, adds a bunch of new features to the game. And what I like about Fly for Fun is the game is always updated. Now V16 adds the much anticipated third job evolutions to the game. Now I actually mentioned V16 in another video, but now V16 is actually out. So I'll, only, I'll quickly summarize the highlights. You have a higher level cap of 139, new third job advancements, entirely new regions to the game, a bunch of new quests, and just a bunch of core gameplay content. There's actually a new guild house system as well. Up next guys, Cosmic Break actually gets a release date. Now Cyberstep will be releasing Cosmic Break into a full release on December 23rd. Now if you haven't heard of Cosmic Break, it's a 3D anime inspired uh, mech MMO shooter that actually plays a lot like x Steel, except much, much, much more anime-esque. Now this game actually had its first beta test nearly a year ago or so, but the game just never happened to come out. It had this pretty long beta test and then it disappeared off the radar for, for months for like 6-7 months at a time, and then boom it comes back and it has a full release date of December 23rd. The open beta itself begins on December 16th, so you can start playing then. So who knows, maybe Get Amp 2 will actually come out as well, and that's also by Cyberstep. Up next guys, Big Bang explodes into Maple Story on December 7th. Big Bang explodes into, get it? Man, I'm so funny. Anyway, uh, the Big Bang update for Maple Story is supposed to completely redesign the user interface as well as rebalance all of the skills, all of the monsters, and the XP curve in the entire game. They say experience rate will actually be a lot faster and just a whole lot is supposed to change. And yes guys, this is the official trailer for the Big Bang update and it, tell it tells you nothing about it. It's just kind of a CG cutscene. But Big Bang will actually be launching on Maple Story on December 7th and that is the concrete release date for it. You can actually find Big Bang screenshots on mmhot.com news if you want to see those. On December 3rd guys, Ica launched its latest expansion pack, The Last Bastion. And the, the trailer you're seeing in the background is actually the first trailer for Ica. Those guys never released updated trailers, so yeah, I'm using the first trailer they actually released. Now this new update will add a new region to the game called Termis, as well as add a hundred, over 100 new quests to the game, as well as new monsters and new things to explore in that new area, as well as a higher level cap from 60 to 70. 
That last one was pretty fast. Up next, guys, Allies Online on December 2nd announced its new Fury of the War expansion pack, which is not really an expansion pack, but more like a major update. And the update will add a new, new and improved guild system to the game, which actually allows guilds themselves to level up and customize their emblems. And you can see from the trailer in the background, this trailer is not new, and you can see the WoW-like graphics, and every time I see Allies Online, I do have to mention, it does look a lot like WoW. But the game's graphics do look really nice. The update will also add the final Gorluxer boss, which is actually supposed to be the hardest raid boss in the game, as well as a new PvP zone called the Melting Isle. Now, also, a new PvP dungeon will also be added called the June Catacombs. Since Allies launch, it was plagued with a lot of player complaints about being too pay to win, but the game is much better now and it's a lot less pay to win. Up next, guys, on December 2nd, Genesis AD added a new patch to the game, which introduced a new weapon for every single class in the game. There's actually only three classes, so every single class is a bit of a... Makes it sound bigger than it is. Anyway, the update also adds four new maps, two of them being demolition maps, one being deathmatch, and one being for blaster mode. Aside from the weapons, players also have access to several new pieces of armor and other gear in the game. Up next, as of December 2nd, the episode 4 for Vindictus is now live, and I know I talked about this last time, but episode 4 adds two new dungeons to the game, a bunch of new boss monsters, as well as a higher level cap of 44. And for those curious, Vindictus is still not out in EU yet. In fact, the game has no release outside of North America and Korea. And there are still no release dates for other regions. On December 3rd, guys, Endors announced that Atlantic Online will be adding a new dungeon called Ancient Lava Valley, as well as a revamp of its tactical battle system. The game will also tweak its Trojan War missions to be playable by solo players. A bunch of new storyline and journal content will also be added to the game. And yes, I know this trailer in the background is pretty old, but they never released a new trailer for this update. Up next, guys, Legend of Martial Arts from Perfect World Entertainment officially got an open beta date. Now, the game's closed beta began sometime last month, but the open beta for the game will be beginning on December 15th. And to celebrate the launch of the open beta, Perfect World Entertainment is holding a bunch of different events for the game, as well as several giveaways, which you can read about on MMOHot.com. Well guys, that's it for MMO news, but as for games that just recently launched, we have only one game to talk about this week, and that's Pirates of the Burning Sea, which it didn't really just recently launch, it actually became free to play on November 29th, and since the game went free to play, it actually increased its player base by huge amounts. If you just log into the servers, you will know exactly what I'm talking about, and it's a pirate themed MMORPG, if you couldn't tell by the name. I should also mention that Pirates of the Burning Sea is very much free to play and more so than many other pay to play MRPGs gone free to play. There are actually very few restrictions on free users which is actually pretty awesome. And guys, since we have no games launching soon this week, that's it for MMO news and announcements for the week ending December 5th. Now, if you guys want to read about or learn more about any of the news that I mentioned in this video, simply head on over to mmohot.com news. Anyway guys, this is Omer, signing off.